about four months after coming to Hollywood, my agent said, do you do any of the Disney characters? And I said, you know, well, you know, I've always played with them, and gosh, I can kind of do a Mickey Mouse, and Donald is tough to do. you got to do that thing in the cheek. And, I could kind of do that, but that's about all. But Gore's Goofy kind of fit right there in the wheelhouse. <laughs> and uh, out of about 1,200 people uh, uh, that were auditioned, they liked mine. And since January of 1987, I've been doing the voice for Goofy and Pluto and many others. Bill did not voice any characters for television again until 1992, when he voiced Goofy Goof in Raw Tunage and Goofy Goof and Aunt Goofelia in Disney's Goof Troop. Again, Bill's portfolio of expertise contains Goofy Goof, Pluto, and Horace Horse Collar. A Goofy movie was originally to be a Goof Troop movie with the same cast and characters. The original script didn't live up to uh, what Disney wanted, so they kind of scrapped that idea and they thought, well, let's just make it a movie about Goofy and his son. And they added more layers to Goofy. He's more of a caring father now than he was in Goof Troop. Uh, he's a little bit more serious. Um, and it, it was a great thrill. I got to work on it for like recording it about two and a half years and about 40 different days of recording because they'd record a scene, they'd say, no, that didn't quite work right. They'd rewrite it, we'd re-record it, and they just did it right. <laughs>